Welcome learners, I am Colonel Bhattacharji. The lesson for today is Indian Armed Forces. We shall quickly give you a brief on the Indian Armed Forces. The scope of today's lecture is the role and structure of Indian Army, the role and structure of Indian Navy, the role and structure of Air Force. Firstly, Indian Army. The role of Indian Army is to protect the territorial integrity of a country, to safeguard its sovereignty from external aggression or internal disorder, provide assistance to civil administration in the event of natural or man-made disaster, and also participates and contributes to UN peacekeeping missions. The structure of the Indian Army is in six operational commands and one training command. We have the Western Command in Chandi Mandir, the Eastern Command in Kolkata, the Northern Command in Udhampur, Southern Command in Pune, Southwest Command in Jaipur, Central Command in Lucknow, and the Army Training Command in Shimla. Each of the, these commands is headed by the General Officer Commanding in Chief, or in short, we call him GOCNC of the rank of Lieutenant General. In addition to this, we have three tri-service commands, that is the Strategic Forces Command or the SFC, the Integrated Defense Staff or IDS, and the Andaman and Nicobar Command. All of these are headed by Army, Navy, and Air Force officers on a rotational basis. The subdivisions of the Indian Army. A standard infantry organization is where 10 men form a section. The section is commanded by a section commander who is a non-commissioned officer. Three sections make a platoon commanded by a platoon commander who is a JCO or a young officer, a lieutenant or a captain. Three platoons make a company commanded by the company commander who is a major or sometimes lieutenant colonel. Four companies make a battalion which is commanded by the commanding officer of the rank of colonel. Three battalions make a brigade, where, which is commanded by the brigade commander of the rank of brigadier. Now, this is a standard infantry format. There are uh, variations in terms of the number of battalions in a brigade, the number of companies in a battalion for other specialized battalions and, and varies from mech infantry or artillery. But this is a standard infantry structure. Now, three to four brigades make an infantry division commanded by a general officer commanding who is a major general. Three to four divisions make a corps commanded by the GOC who is of the rank of lieutenant general. And three to four corps make it form a command which is commanded by the general officer commanding in chief of the rank of lieutenant general. The Indian Army is organized into combat arms, combat support arms, and services. Infantry, armored, and mech infantry fall under combat arms. Artillery, engineers, army air defense, aviation, and signals, they are combat support arms. And the services are ASC, AMC, Dental Corps, AOC, EME, RVC, military farms, AEC, CMP, Pioneer Corps, Army Postal Service, Intelligence Corps, JAG, the Judge Adjutant General, and the Military Nursing Service. Next, we'll see the Indian Navy. The role of the Indian Navy is to exercise naval power against adversary and defend Indian territory and maritime trade, conduct naval diplomacy through joint naval exercises and ship visits to friendly countries, Maintain law and order at sea by preventing crimes like piracy. Other than this, some benign roles are providing humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, conduct search and rescue of boats and personnel in distress in high seas, and hydrographic surveys and mapping of coastal and ocean territory. The Indian Navy. Structured into three commands, the Western Command, Naval Command, which is in Mumbai, the Eastern Naval Command is in Vishakhapatnam. The Southern Naval Command is in Kochi. 
Each command is headed by a flag officer commanding in chief. In short, we call him FOC in C, who is of the rank of vice admiral. Three tri services commands, namely Strategic Forces Command, the Integrated Defense Staff, and the Andaman and Nicobar Command, are also, like I mentioned before, headed by Army, Navy, and Air Force officers on a rotational basis. Indian Navy is organized into Executive Branch, Engineering Branch, Logistic Branch, Education Branch, and Medical Branch. Coming to the Indian Air Force, the role of Indian Air Force is to secure Indian airspace and protect it from intruders, undertake air warfare during conflicts, deploy troops to remote areas and assist in logistics, and provide air support to the other arms, that is Army and Navy, in their operations. Other than this, they also are very actively involved in rescue of civilians in times of crisis and disaster, airlifting or evacuating Indian nationals from other countries in times of calamities, and Indian Air Force also has a VVIP flight, which is meant for the transportation of President, Vice President, and PM on their official visits. The structure of Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force has five operation commands. The Western Command is in Delhi, the Eastern Air Command is in Shillong, the Central Air Command is in Allahabad, the Southern Air Command is in Tiruvanthapuram, and Southwestern Air Command is in Gandhinagar. Other than this, they have two functional commands, the Training Command located at Bangalore and the Maintenance Command located at Nagpur. These are to keep the men and machines always ready for war. Each command is headed by an Air Officer Commanding in Chief or the AOCNC of the rank of Air Marshal. The subdivisions of the Air Force, three aircrafts make a section commanded by a Flight Lieutenant, two sections make a flight commanded by a Squadron Leader, Three flights form a squadron, which is commanded by the commanding officer of the rank of wing commander or group captain. Two to three squadrons form a wing, commanded by the group captain, oblique air commodore. Generally, an air force station has one wing and half of a squadron, and is commanded by the air commodore or air vice marshal. And about 19 to 16 air bases or air force stations make a command which is commanded by a marshal. Learners, we have learnt in brief about the Indian Army, the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force. Hope you have taken the lessons and hope you have the knowledge that we wanted to impart have been received well by you. Thank you.